Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes, and this morning I'm going to talk about the process of drawing our floor plans for our house, our family's home. And the way I did it was we were in Seattle Children's Hospital for eight and a half months. Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. I'm at the Seattle Children's Hospital uh, with my daughter. We're in the final stages of getting her recovered and getting her home, so while I'm here, I'm drawing some floor plans during that journey in the hospital, I had a lot of time on my hands, so we drew the, the plans. I started off by going to Craigslist and finding a drafting table where it, I could tilt it, I could raise it up, and I got a little drafting table that fit inside the room where I stayed, uh, right next to my daughter. I did a uh, 28 by, I'm sorry, it's a 24 by 32 single level addition. I'll show that to you. Here I drew a profile. The red lines are the existing house, the gable lines, and the profile of the old house. And that round archway will be the new log wall that goes into the old house. And this new roof I drew is taller than the old roof. It'll go above the old house. Here's a side view of the one side of the house. There's the existing house. Here's the footprint of the, the new house. It's uh, 24 feet wide. It's 32 feet long. So that's the profile of it. Now I'm going to call the customer and get a few more details and continue drawing this. And so I got some paper and I began drawing uh, the plans. What I how I did it is I had the office in Montana email to me a, a heart's content floor plan that we had. So this is what I started out with. And this was the heart's content. You'll see some of the original drawings from the computer. And then you see the coffee stains on the top of this original drawing uh, that I in that room. I had to go through quite a bit of coffee. And this took some months of off and on drawing this. And so um, I, I take this instrument right here. It's called a delete button. I can put it on the paper and, and paper ink it out. I could make a line ink it out. Or you also use a white out uh, liquid. And here I'll show you my instruments I use. It's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, at home we use a CAD computerized drawing, but here in the hospital I just use a lead to help out with some of the simpler projects. I use different templates for creating shapes and uh, I've got all these different pro uh, these uh, templates here. Depending on what I, I need to draw, I, I use them for shape, the, drawing the windows and shapes. I've got the scale ruler. I've got a red pen. I've got an, uh, a lead I use to draw most of it and then a small ruler and some ink at times. So that's my equipment. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, but gets the job done. We, we began to uh, re restructure the heart's content to our liking, and this is the original. And so I drew on the paper how we wanted to rearrange the house, how we wanted to change things around. So we took the basic heart's content. Again, I'll show you here. This is the uh, basic heart's content, and we, we took the garage off this end. There was a breezeway that was taken off, and we added uh, the kitchen here, a balcony off Marina's room, and then then there's also a pop-out in the heart's content we took off and added the master bedroom, an upstairs bedroom, and then my study tower on the top. And this is the, the back view of the tower that I drew. So we, we took the heart's content, shrunk it, and then we added the tower on and added this on. And then over here we added the underground wood storage and then the future greenhouse on top. Here I drew some soil and plants growing. I was thinking potatoes over here to heat the, the greenhouse, but then now we decided to go with a greenhouse. So this was my original vision of an underground wood house and a stove, but now the stove isn't here which will heat the whole house and there'll be a greenhouse there. 
So that's the main floor. Great room, kitchen, dining, entry, master ba bath, master bedroom, Rebecca's sewing room. That's the main floor. Let's see if we can find a, my original basement plan. I think this was the original basement plan. And that was just, I took the heart's content and just did some markings on it. And that was pretty crude, not finished. This is the wood house over here. And over here, I've got the finished plans we actually used to build with. I kept refining it. And I'll start with the basement. So this is the basement plan that we finished with. These are kind of hard to unfold. And this is, there's some changes been made along the way, but this is pretty much what it is. Um, the wood house, greenhouse above it, the, the stove in here that heats the green, greenhouse and the house, the basement over here, um, utility room, main room in the basement, and a bathroom, laundry, and a kitchen. And then that's our can room under the tower. And the reason for this basement was for area for youth to gather, a place for guests to stay. Then we have a food preparation for butchering and for food canning and freezing in here. So just nice to have a basement. And we plan to move into the basement first, and then we can complete the top store at full floors and, and move up. So that, that's the basement. Let's check out the main floor. These have been rolled up so long now they don't want to stay un uh, they want to stay flat. That's the main floor. We end up going straight out with the with the this would be the greenhouse, the same level, the stove underneath it, outdoor oven on this patio. These are decks out front cover decks and an open deck cover deck so that's the final uh, design of the kitchen dining room great room uh, the Rebecca's sewing room she's very creative so she has a place to sew quilts and clothes and everything else she does uh, and then master bath master bedroom so that's the final result this is just a open carport to drive in so again, if you're familiar with uh, some of our floor plans on site, especially on our website, especially the Heart's Content, it would be very similar from here to here. Uh, the, the basic layout, the great room glass here. This is all great room. And the other thing that Rebecca really wanted me to do, and we went ahead and did that, is she wanted some flat walls on the inside of the house. So on this part, the dining room and the kitchen, this is all flat on the inside and flat in her sewing room and our bedroom and all this is all flat on the inside. But I wanted to have the great room all traditional round. The whole thing is going to, this is all traditional, the, the main part. So the wings are flat inside, but the main center part is just our normal round log. So we have that lodge round log look. So let's find the loft. We have three girls at home. So we need some bedrooms in the loft. So we have uh, Verena's bedroom and a balcony, the family room in the loft here, and then a bathroom, another bedroom, another bedroom, and this goes up to my tower. And this is the tower. It's my study, prayer room. Um, guys can come hang out right there. That's the, the tower room. So there you have it. And these are uh, some of the originals, I think anything with a white marking on them, like this paper ink, is going to be the original paper, the original drawing. So these are the ones we actually are the final. These are what we built with. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And that's the story of how we drew my plans with a ruler, a pen, a pencil with an eraser, and that, uh, and this eraser, this liquid, or this paper ink thing. So uh, that's how I drew these plans. If you get a house from Meadowlark Log Homes, I probably won't draw it. It'll be drawn by our uh, 
professional nephew draftsman. But for myself, I had a lot of time on my hands, so I decided to draw it ourselves, and it worked out great. Thanks for watching.